Welcome to the second part of our crew scheduling lecture. In this video, we are going to discuss how can we formulate the crew pairing and the crew assignment problems following the discussion that we did have in the previous video lecture. Let's start with the crew pairing problem, recapitulating the goal of the problem. The problem consists in choosing the minimum cost set of pairings that cover all flights in our schedule once and only once. Given that some crews can only operate a given aircraft type, particularly the cockpit crews, this problem is normally solved separately for each aircraft type. To formulate the problem, we need two sets, one referring to the feasible pairings considered and another referring to the flights from the schedule that have to be covered for a given fleet type. The decision variables, xp, are binary, being equal to 1 if a given pairing p is chosen from the set of pairings, and zero otherwise. We also need to know the cost associated with each pairing and information about if a given flight is covered by a pairing P or not. The standard problem can be formulated as we see in this slide. The objective is to choose the pairings that minimize the, our costs. So our objective function is the minimization of the sum of the costs associated with each pairing. If we select one pairing P, the decision variable will be equal to one and the respective cost will be headed in our objective function. In terms of constraints, we only have one set of constraints that force that every single flight in the schedule is covered once and only once. That's expression 2. As discussed in the previous video, the cost of each pairing can be computed as the maximum between the sum of the duty costs, a given function of the time away from the crew base, and a minimum guaranteed payment. To this, we should add the layover costs. This problem is classified as a set partitioning problem, a classical problem in the operations research literature in which the goal is to define how items from one set can be partitioned into smaller subsets. All items must be contained in one and only one of these subsets. In terms of the size of our model, the problem is as large as the number of flights to be covered one constraint per flight, and the number of pairings, one decision variable per pairing. The standard problem can be extended to consider some specificities from the airline. For instance, for airlines with multiple crew bases, it is common to have a set of balancing constraints in which a good distribution of work over a set of crew bases is enforced, defined as a function of the number of crews located at each one of these crew bases. See the formation of the problem in the previous slide. Do you think that this is an easy or a complex problem to solve? Let's say the, the problem is linear, with straightforward constraints, easy to understand and with a limited number of constraints, as many as the number of flights that we do have in the scale. So where is the complexity of the problem, if any? I'll let you think about this. But let's move on to the next problem, the crew assignment problem. Here, the goal is to develop the monthly rosters for each crew member, given the pairing selected in the previous problem. Remember that each flight is covered by one and only one pairing selected, so we have to have a crew member allocated to each pairing to be able to cover all flights. Before discussing how to formulate the problem, we should consider that this problem is solved for multiple crew positions in an airline, which are divided in rankings and fleet types. We solve the crew assignment problem in principle for each one of these positions separately, or by assuming that they work together as a team for the entire month. This can in particular be the case for cabin crew, in which the two pilots remain together for the full time of a pairing. But this is rarely the case for cabin crew, in which the number of cabin crews depends on the number of passengers per flight. In any case, what we have to guarantee is that we have enough crews assigned to operate each flight at the end of solving all these uh, crew assignment problems. And every single active crew member has to be assigned to a work schedule, even if it's an empty schedule with no pairings. As discussed in the previous video, there are two different approaches to the crew assignment problem. The rostering approach, in which a full roster is assigned to individual crew members, and the bead line approach, in which lines of pairings are constructed and presented to crews to express their preference in terms of biddings. In general terms, nevertheless, the crew assignment problem for these two approaches is very similar. 
The goal of the problem is then to select the best allocation of pre-computed rosters or bid lines to crew members such that we maximize crew satisfaction or minimize an equivalent cost of not respecting crew preference or bids. Focus on the rostering problem, we need three types of sets for this problem. The set of crew members being considered, the set of feasible rosters built and presented to the crews, and the set of pairings to be covered. Decision variables are again binary, referring to the assignment of a roster to a crew member. We also need to know the set of crew members needed to cover each pairing. For instance, in the case of cabin crew problem, the pairing may require more than one uh, crew members to be solved. This crew rostering problem is also classified as a set partitioning problem, very similar to the crew pairing problem discussed before, but now allocating rosters to crew instead of allocating pairings to flights. The objective is to minimize the cost of allocating specific rosters to individual crew members, while the constraints are related with the number of crew members needed per pairing that has to be covered, and with the fact that each crew member has to get one roster, even if it is an empty roster. The problem size is equal to the number of pairings plus the number of crew members in terms of constraints, and it has as many decision variables as the sum of all rosters considered for all crew members. Again, it can be asked if this problem is complex. It seems easy to follow and with straightforward constraints. So where is the complexity? I'll let you think about this. In any case, it must be said that these two formulations, both for the crew pairing and for the crew assignment problem, are the standard ones, the most simple ones that can be used to formulate the problems. Real applications usually force us to use more intricate constraints. For instance, it is normal to have constraints that are different for crews of different seniority levels or balanced constraints as explained before. So this could be more complicated than what we are seeing here. In the next video, we'll learn how to solve these problems and discuss the difficulty of getting an optimal solution to them. I'll see you there.